Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Make It Blocks, the zombie. There's 49 pieces in this set. This is a review of this particular set. Reviews aren't very long. Uh, it depends on how much I want to talk about the actual figure. This one is, like I said, from Make It Blocks. There is 49 pieces. It tells you how many pieces there are inside. And it does say it is compatible with all LEGO brands. So this is what you get. You get yourself a little... You get yourself a tombstone. They don't have any writing on this tombstone, and that's different. Usually, they'd have some type of picture or something like that. Uh, they have yourself a chain that you make yourself. You make this chain if you saw the stop motion. I don't like it how you have to make your chains because they're very cheaply made. You know, like when you do it like this, you make it yourself. It's very hard. You start sp stressing them apart a little bit. I do like the little teeny skeleton dude inside. You don't get a face on it. As you can see, there is no face. It's just a round head that goes right like that. And inside... You do get just the framework of a body. You don't get his arms, but you do get a full on, you get his legs. You can make a character if you do have these little legs. Now I do have original Lego ones like this. So I, and it doesn't look any different. Just maybe the head part, we'll, we'll compare them. I'll keep it separate uh, from the actual Lego ones that I do have that we're gonna be looking at the channel later on this year. We're gonna look at some old school stuff. The tombstone itself here moves up like this. So it does like, oh, you're rocking the grave, you know. So that's kind of cool. I do, I do really do like that you get this pieces. And the price itself was this set was worth about a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty. You get one zombie type character who's digging up the graves. He has a regular shovel that you can see here. The head moves just like any old Mega Blocks. Oh, let's move his head. Their arms, their arms fall off. It's perfect for a zombie. Arms on Make It Block characters are not great, just so you know. So if you do buy some character ones from Make It Blocks, their arms always fall off. It's really annoying. Now, I'm not the best at putting stickers on. You have to put that sticker on him as well. So I did my best, but I'm nowhere is that perfect. The heads on Make It Blocks look like that, where it's not solid like a Lego. And his little hair piece goes on like so. He's angry. As you can see, he's like got that little ang he's got the angry face on him like that. His eyes are all bulged out, his mouth is open. Um he's super angry. I loved his arm off. His legs, uh, they do move in these directions. You do get one mini, like I was saying. The price point for this mini is not like a normal mini, like when I'm like, oh Legos are five dollars. This isn't worth five dollars. <laughs> so I dropped his arm off again. So anyway, his arm does fall off. You do get, like I was saying, you get a, your better pieces right here. That is your better piece that you're gonna get. You could put the, a little white head on it, but it has no face. Um, and, you know, so when you're buying this one, if you really were interested in buying body parts, you could buy this one a couple times for a dollar or 25. Just getting yourself some more skeleton pieces that you can put around your playscape would be pretty cool, I think. It depends on what you're kind of going for. If if you needed a cheaper version than Legos, this might be the way to go. Um, but I do want to compare like my um, early 2000 Legos uh, skeletons that I have um, with this one just to see the quality um i remember that uh those were so cool i really liked them i really i really dug getting those sets um what are your thoughts on this one let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time